A 4.1 magnitude earthquake in Tennessee woke families up and rattled homes as far away as Atlanta. On the West Coast, there is quite a bit of seismic activity uh, in Tennessee uh, and northern Georgia. This particular earthquake was felt. It's hard to believe, but America's deadliest quake may not strike California at all. Could Tennessee be hiding the silent monster ready to rewrite history? Beneath Tennessee's peaceful hills and farmland, the Red New Madrid Fault and the Red East Tennessee Seismic Zone are wound like a spring, silent, ancient, and capable of tearing apart the nation's heartland in seconds. While the world fixates on the Red San Andreas Fault Big One or the Red Cascadia Subduction Zone, the true danger may be here, where silence masks centuries of strain. The science is terrifying. The USGS ranks Red Shelby County earthquake risk, home to Memphis and more than a million residents, among the top four most vulnerable regions in America. The odds, a 25% to 40% chance of a Red Tennessee earthquake magnitude 6.0 plus in the next 50 years. That's not a maybe, that's a countdown already ticking. History proves it. In 1811 to 1812, a series of Red New Madrid megaquakes exceeding magnitude 7 shook the nation so violently the Mississippi River ran backward, church bells rang in Boston, and entire frontier towns vanished. Paleoseismologists have uncovered scars of at least three megaquakes in the past 2,000 years, each one catastrophic. If it happened then, what would happen now, with millions more lives, cities, power grids, and ports in the crosshairs? Unlike California, Tennessee has no daily tremors to remind people of danger. Skyscrapers rise in Memphis, suburbs spread, and industries hum across a landscape that could split open tomorrow. The silence fools us. But silence here isn't peace, it's pressure. Pressure building toward an inevitable, explosive release. So here's the nightmare question. Is Tennessee quietly sitting on America's next megaquake, one that could eclipse both San Andreas and Cascadia combined? And if it struck tomorrow, would we be ready? Or would the United States watch its heartland collapse in a single night? Chapter 1 Tennessee's Silent Megaquake Threat what if America's deadliest earthquake isn't waiting in California, but already locked beneath Tennessee's quiet hills? Everyone fears the Red San Andreas Fault and the Red Cascadia Subduction Zone, but the true monster may be lurking far from the West Coast. Beneath Tennessee's farmland and cities, the Red New Madrid Fault and the Red East Tennessee Seismic Zone are silently loading strain, centuries of pressure with the power to unleash devastation across half the continent. The numbers don't lie. According to the USGS, there's up to a 40% chance of a Red Tennessee earthquake magnitude 6.0 plus within the next 50 years. Memphis, home to over a million people, sits right in the crosshairs. Unlike California, where frequent tremors bleed off pressure, Tennessee's faults are locked tight. And when they snap, they don't whisper, they roar. History has already shown us what's possible. The 1811 to 1812 New Madrid earthquakes reversed the Mississippi River and shook church bells in Boston. Today, with millions more people, fragile infrastructure, and sprawling cities, the consequences would be catastrophic. And here's what makes it worse. The ancient eastern US bedrock. Quakes here don't stay local, they travel. A red Memphis megaquake wouldn't just devastate Tennessee, it could rattle St. Louis, crack Atlanta, and be felt all the way to Washington DC or Boston. One rupture here is not just a state disaster, it's a continental nightmare. So the question is chilling, how long can this silent giant hold back its fury? And when it finally breaks, will Tennessee survive or become the ground zero of America's next great catastrophe? Chapter 2 a fault awakens. Tennessee's twin time bombs. What if America's next megaquake doesn't start on the coast, but right here in Tennessee's quiet hills? When people think earthquakes, they picture California's Red San Andreas Fault or tsunamis from Red Cascadia. But deep in the heartland, far from the Pacific, two monsters are waiting the Red New Madrid Seismic Zone and the sprawling Red East Tennessee Seismic Zone. Together, they form a deadly duo capable of shaking half the nation. 
history already proved their power. In 1811 to 1812, the Red New Madrid earthquakes struck with estimated magnitudes up to 8.0. The Mississippi ran backward. Forests drowned. Church bells rang in Boston. If that same event hit today, Memphis, St. Louis, and millions across the Midwest would face devastation on a scale modern America has never seen. And New Madrid isn't alone. The Red East Tennessee seismic zone stretches hundreds of miles into Alabama and Georgia. It rattles constantly with small quakes, reminders that the ground is alive, restless, and storing strain for something bigger. Unlike San Andreas, which rattles often and releases energy, Tennessee's zones stay silent, locking pressure until the next explosion. What makes it worse? The ancient central US bedrock. Here, seismic waves travel faster and farther than in California. A Red Tennessee earthquake magnitude 7 plus wouldn't just destroy Memphis, it could rattle Chicago, collapse bridges in St. Louis, and shake skyscrapers along the Appalachians. One rupture here isn't a local disaster, it's a continental crisis. Paleoseismic digs prove the cycle. Buried sand blows, warped riverbeds, ghost forests, all scars of megaquakes in the last 2,000 years. Tennessee's seismic zones are not myths, they are recurring killers. So here's the chilling question. If the Red Tennessee earthquake risk 2025 is real, are we living in the calm before America's most shocking disaster? Could Tennessee, not California, hold the true big one? Don't wait until the ground moves. Hit subscribe now, because the story only gets darker from here. Chapter 3 Tennessee's Silent Countdown What if America's deadliest earthquake threat isn't in California, but right under Tennessee, where no one is ready? Tennessee looks calm. No daily tremors, no headlines, no towering fault lines like the San Andreas. But that silence is the trap. Because beneath the red New Madrid seismic zone and the red East Tennessee seismic zone, two colossal time bombs are ticking. The US Geological Survey ranks Shelby County, Tennessee, home to Memphis, as the fourth most vulnerable region in the entire nation. Why? Because Memphis isn't just a city, it's a lifeline. Pipelines, highways, power grids, and one of America's busiest river hubs all converge here. A red Tennessee megaquake wouldn't just destroy neighborhoods, it would cripple the entire country. The odds? A 25% to 40% chance of a magnitude 6.0 plus quake in the next 50 years. Nearly a coin flip within a single lifetime. And history proves it can be worse. In 1811 to 1812, New Madrid quakes shook church bells in Boston and made the Mississippi River run backward. But here's the chilling part. Unlike California, Tennessee isn't prepared. No earthquake culture, weak building codes, aging bridges and hospitals not built to withstand shaking, families unaware they're living on a seismic bullseye. And the danger doesn't stop at state lines. In the east, ancient bedrock amplifies earthquakes. A Tennessee rupture could rattle Chicago, St. Louis, even Washington DC. One strike here isn't local, it's continental. Chapter 4 A History Written in Ruins What if America's most violent earthquake already struck Tennessee, and almost no one remembers it? Forget California. The deadliest quake series in US history didn't hit San Francisco or Los Angeles. It hit Tennessee's Red New Madrid seismic zone in the winter of 1811 to 1812. And it was so violent, it rewrote the map of America. Eyewitnesses said the ground rolled like ocean waves, forests collapsed, the Mississippi River ran backward for hours. In Boston, over a thousand miles away, church bells rang from the shock. Entire frontier towns in Tennessee and Missouri vanished in seconds, while aftershocks continued for months. Scientists digging into the soil today confirm the nightmare. Sand blows, drowned forests, warped riverbeds, all proof that at least three separate megaquakes, magnitude 7.0 to 8.0, ripped the heartland apart in just a few months. And the records go deeper. This has happened multiple times in the past 2,000 years. Here's the chilling truth. It will happen again. Back then, Memphis didn't even exist. Nashville was a small town. Today, more than a million people 
people, plus vital highways, bridges, ports and power lines sit right on top of the same threat. What was once a wilderness disaster could now become a modern apocalypse. So here's the question no one dares to ask. If the Mississippi reversed once, what happens when it does it again? Could Memphis, St. Louis, even Chicago, survive history's deadliest cycle repeating itself? Chapter 5 Unpredictable Power – The Science Nightmare What if the deadliest US disaster has already started and no one can see it? The scariest thing about earthquakes isn't their strength, it's their silence. No countdown, no radar, no warning, and nowhere is this more terrifying than in Tennessee's Red New Madrid and East Tennessee seismic zones. For centuries, they've stored stress in total silence, like a loaded gun beneath America's heartland. Unlike California's San Andreas, Tennessee's faults are ancient scars, buried deep under layers of rock. Scientists can map them, track pressure, even measure millimetres of sinking ground, but they cannot predict the snap. The USGS Tennessee earthquake forecast warns of a 25% to 40% chance of a magnitude 6.0 plus quake within 50 years. That's not geologic time, that's your lifetime. And here's the nightmare. Central US bedrock amplifies shaking, carrying waves farther and faster than in California. One red Tennessee megaquake wouldn't just devastate Memphis and Nashville. It could rattle St. Louis, Louisville, Atlanta, even Chicago. A regional quake could instantly become a national catastrophe. Picture it. Memphis jolts awake, bridges crack, pipelines explode, power grids collapse. But the shaking doesn't stop there. It races across states, toppling chimneys in Ohio, swaying skyscrapers in Illinois. Millions feel it. Millions are unprepared. Seismologists admit the truth. They can't predict the day, the year, or the decade. Every silent moment isn't safety. It's suspense. Chapter 6 Zone of Denial – Tennessee's Deadly Gamble What if the real killer isn't the quake, but our refusal to prepare for it? The science is clear, the warnings are undeniable. Yet across Tennessee, from Memphis to Nashville, denial reigns. Unlike California, where earthquakes shape culture and building codes, Tennessee lives as if the ground beneath its feet isn't capable of apocalypse. Memphis, Shelby County, one of America's most at-risk regions, holds over a million lives, skyscrapers, pipelines, hospitals, and the Mississippi River's busiest hub. But here's the nightmare. Thousands of buildings predate seismic codes. Schools, bridges, and levees never designed for a megaquake. When, not if, the Red Tennessee earthquake strikes, lifelines could collapse in seconds. Picture it. A Red New Madrid fault rupture. Power grids black out. Highways split. Cell towers fall. Hospitals overflow. Gas fires rage while rescue crews are trapped by broken roads. The shaking ends, but the real disaster begins. Total unpreparedness. And the cruelest irony? Awareness flickers and fades. A small tremor rattles dishes. Headlines flare for a day. Politicians promise funding. Then, silence. Budgets shrink. Drills stop. Complacency returns. Until the earth itself rips open without warning. So here's the question. When Tennessee's megaquake finally hits, will families have kits ready? Will schools have practiced drills? Will bridges and hospitals stand or crumble into history's next tragedy? Because denial isn't safety. Denial is the countdown, and time is running out. Chapter 7 Reverberations Unleashed – Tennessee's Megaquake Shockwave What if one quake in Tennessee didn't just shatter a city, but crippled half the nation? It starts in Memphis – calm, ordinary, unsuspecting. Then the Red Tennessee megaquake erupts. A Red New Madrid fault rupture tears the ground open, magnitude 7.5 or more. Skyscrapers snap, bridges crumble into the Mississippi, highways split wide as firestorms ignite across neighborhoods. Within seconds, a modern city is thrown back centuries. But the destruction doesn't stop at Tennessee. The old bedrock of the Midwest carries the quake's fury like a drumbeat. St. Louis, Little Rock, Louisville, even Chicago, all shaking violently within minutes. Chimneys topple in Ohio, bells ring in North Carolina. The footprint of one quake stretches across a dozen states. Then the river turns deadly. 
history proves it. In 1811, the Mississippi ran backward. Could it happen again? Levees crack, dams rupture, shipping collapses. America's arteries, highways, railways, river trade, snap all at once, unleashing not just a natural disaster, but an economic apocalypse. Experts warn, a modern red New Madrid earthquake 2025 could cost trillions. But the true price is measured in families torn apart, cities scarred forever, and a nation forced to confront how fragile its heartland really is. Chapter 8 Legacies of the Land, Tennessee's Forgotten Warnings What if the ground beneath Tennessee has been warning us for centuries, and we just stopped listening? The Red New Madrid Seismic Zone has already carved its warnings into Tennessee's soil. Twisted riverbeds, red ghost forests, and sand blows that still scar the land. These aren't myths, they're proof. Proof that megaquakes ripped this region apart before, and will do it again. Scientists digging into the earth uncover red Tennessee megaquakes stretching back thousands of years. Whole rivers reversed, villages erased, forests drowned in a single night. And yet, people shrug, thinking earthquakes belong to California. But here's the chilling truth. The red East Tennessee seismic zone rattles constantly with small tremors, whispers of something far worse. And unlike the West Coast, the old cold bedrock of the Midwest carries seismic shockwaves hundreds of miles. A red New Madrid earthquake 2025 wouldn't just crush Memphis. It could shake St. Louis, Indianapolis, even Chicago. So why do we ignore the scars carved into the land? Why do we treat hazard maps as paperwork instead of warnings carved in blood and stone? Because here's the fact, the Earth never forgets, but people do. And when memory fades, history has a way of repeating itself, louder, deadlier, and impossible to ignore. Chapter 9 Guardians at the Brink, Tennessee's Seismic Defense Can technology stop a megaquake, or are we fooling ourselves? Across Tennessee, scientists wire the land like a battlefield. Seismic sensors track every twitch of the red New Madrid seismic zone. Satellites map the ground sinking millimeter by millimeter, and fiber optic cables hum with signals from the red East Tennessee seismic zone. It looks like control, it feels like safety, but here's the truth, it's only delay. Bridges and schools remain dangerously weak. Emergency drills fade as funding dries up. Millions live on borrowed time, while politicians reassure themselves with odds that mean nothing when the ground explodes. Because science can't stop what's coming. The Red Tennessee earthquake risk is real. A 25% to 40% chance of a magnitude 6.0 plus quake in the next 50 years. That's not if, that's when. Chapter 10 In the end, the sound that waits beneath silence. If silence itself is the warning, how long can Tennessee keep ignoring the sound that waits beneath? As twilight falls over Tennessee's ridges and river valleys, few pause to imagine the storm brewing deep beneath their feet. But the Red Tennessee earthquake threat is not an invention. It's a cycle, a countdown, a whisper in the stone that grows louder with every year of stillness. The Red New Madrid seismic zone and the Red East Tennessee seismic zone are not legends of geology. They are proven killers, waiting in silence. History tells us what happens when these faults awaken. The Red New Madrid earthquake, 1811 to 1812, reversed rivers, shook cities thousands of miles away, and left scars that remain visible to this day. Science tells us the odds. A 25% to 40% chance of a magnitude 6.0 plus quake in the next 50 years. And common sense tells us the truth we don't want to face. Every day without movement is one day closer to rupture. The silence isn't comfort, it's a trap. While California prepares for the San Andreas big one, the heartland builds schools, bridges, and pipelines as if the ground is invincible. But what happens when Memphis, Nashville, and Knoxville all tremble at once? What happens when the Mississippi River's levees, designed for floods but not for quakes, begin to fail? Could a Red Tennessee megaquake paralyze not just the state, but the nation itself? Perhaps the most haunting reality is this. Preparedness is a choice, but catastrophe is not. The Earth will move. The only question is whether Tennessee will move first. 
toward readiness, resilience, and respect for the ancient power beneath its soil. If this story shook you, don't let the silence swallow it. Subscribe, share, and join us as we uncover more hidden threats beneath our world. Because when the next Red Tennessee earthquake comes, and it will, you'll want to know the truth before the ground itself delivers it.